hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is ifi artistry if this is your first time seeing my video you are highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always watching my videos okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i I achieved this beautiful brows yeah so this is my uh, client and I did this brows on her so first of all I start with combing up her hairs like I'm not taming it down yet I'm combing the hairs up like you know like combing it up uh, because you have to you know comb the hairs if it's actually lying down like very well you want to comb it up and after this i begin to tame the brows down so in this video i'm going to be using the brow tamer from um tm essentials so i'm using the brow tamer to tame down the hairs of her brows and um after taming it down i just like use the tip of my brush to you know like slick it down because not just taming i equally want it to slick and stay at the place i don't want to be walking on the brows and the hairs are like everywhere it's all over no i don't want that i want everything to slick down Okay guys, so after doing that, I get my setting powder, Beauty by AD setting powder in the shade Amber, and I use that to set, set it at a place to, uh, for it to be at the place, you know, like set to remove oils. And after that, I dust it out like the um, excess setting powder from the uh, brows. I want to, I want it gone. Okay guys, so having done that, I got my Toffee set, um, my brow gel in the shade Toffee. The brow gel is from um Hage and esther in the shade tofi yeah so i'm using that to outline her brows okay guys so after doing that i'm just outlining the brows basically and i'm going to be following the natural line of her of her brow hairs like you wouldn't want to go too down or like you know like go to up why out outlining you want to follow the line yeah there are some times that in some cases that you might actually make some mistakes or like in some cases where the hairs are not full then you might actually go higher or, or lower yeah that actually depends on you that is why you have to actually really know what you are doing on brows so just outlining is just like following the line of the brow her hair for me i follow the line of the person's hair honestly and i get what i want uh, by doing that okay guys so after outlining the first side of the brows i go over to the second part and i'm just being like careful i'm just carefully outlining and at this point i'm just trying to be comfortable because like brows is something that is a bit dedicated for me um somebody somebody asked me the other day what part of, what what part of makeup that I don't really feel so comfortable doing and that is actually brows like no matter what like i think i feel so comfortable doing every other thing but like brows yeah because of course that's um that fear of you know getting it correct all the time yeah because like sometimes you never can know you never can tell okay guys so after outlining i'm going to be using my davis pencil uh, in the shade 003 as you guys know like i use 003 all the time for everybody and i've said the reasons all the time even on a light-skinned person i would rather like go light-handed with shading uh yeah for me i would rather go light light-handed with shading um while i'm using the 003 instead of 018 which i think i'm actually wrong i'm actually wrong for using 03 for everybody but, but that is what i'm comfortable with i rather go light-handed with you and you know like take it easy so after doing this like basically what i'm doing is just like filling in like the places i don't see hairs you can see like i'm making it scanty i'm just i don't like shading like my filling in like i don't like shading i like like i like it when i make strokes you know like light strokes especially when the person is light-skinned like my clients so i love to make light strokes especially the places i don't see like hairs yeah of course there are some places that are a bit scanty after you make your outline you see some places scanty but guys you guys are going to actually understand something when you are making these strokes and you are going you realize that um there are some parts or there are some places that is a darker than other parts of course because this is a dark pencil and something that you want to do is to use your um this your um, uh, mascara wand or like the spoolie, spoolie brush to brush it up like like combi 
so by doing that all the places that is a bit like that is too dark will go away and you are going to achieve something like very beautiful i don't know if you understand me yeah so after doing that you notice that there are some places that are too dark and all that so just using your brush to go over it will erase all those excessively dark places okay guys so after doing that i'm going to be using my set um, my um sorry concealer that is the um zikio cosmetics concealer in the shade nude i'm going to be using the nude in the outer part and i'm going to be using the neutral so the first one i'm using right now sorry is neutral not nude because nude is a bit darker so i'm going to be using neutral first uh that's what i'm using on the brow bone and then in the beginning of the brows and equally at the upper part of the brows i'm going to be using the shade nude because nude is actually very closer to her skin shade or her skin tone because like she's this light but like the nude is going to actually easily blend into her into her contour okay guys so after uh, doing that part i'm going to start like blending out the concealer i'm, go I'm going to just blend it so to make sure that it doesn't really dry and stick and be hard for me to blend though my the concealer that i use is actually very lightweight it doesn't like really dry that quickly and stay and not clean or you know something like that is lightweight it can but just to be on a safer side okay guys so i'm doing the same thing to the um, second brows i'm just outlining and being careful just to make sure that i'm getting it correctly you know that fear and I don't really know if I'm going to call it fear. I think I'm just like somehow I sometimes I used to be anxious like when I'm doing brows. I don't know. I'll just be like, you know, I just want to get it correct. I don't want mistakes. I don't want to come and start outlining and re outlining and you know with no no I don't I want it once and it's done. Okay guys, so after that I'm going over um, the other the upper part of the brows. I'm just um I'm just uh, like uh, um, basically just running through guys because this upper part of the brows is always neat honestly I know like most of the, when I'm just looking at it on my videos I know they are neat but like <laughs> I can't leave it that way if I'm walking sorry I can't I have to still conceal it I, I can't feel comfortable not you know running through it with my concealer so I just feel like cleaning out the edges makes me feel good feel better so i'm just going to f clean out the edges not basically i just as if i'm not really holding a concealer like sorry it's just as if i didn't really get concealer but i did okay guys so after that i'm going to be using the milani setting uh, powder is a compact powder in the shade um 018 sorry 108 yeah in the shade 108 so i'm going to be using that too set the brow bone and the shade uh, 110 that's 110 i guess i'll be using that to set the um beginning part of the brows because that side is actually darker okay guys so that is it basically thank you so much for watching my videos um see you next time and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel put on your post notification for when next i post my video love you bye